Screenwriters, we need to talk. Why are we still paying hundreds of dollars just to format a script? Final draft. It's on sale sometimes, but it's, it's around $200, maybe $150 at the best point. Fade in. I still love the program, don't get me wrong, but it's 80 bucks. Even Scrivener costs money, and that has gone up to $60. But what if I told you there's a completely free software program that does almost everything that these do, and no, it's not janky or off-brand. It's called Writer Solo, from the people that made Writer Duet. And it might be one of the best free screenwriting, you heard that right, best free screenwriting software out there. So let me show you why. Look, I get it. If you're serious about screenwriting, you want industry standard software. But does that mean you have to drop a ton of cash? Here's the thing. If you're a beginner, student, or just testing the script ideas, why would you pay 200 or 250 for Final Draft? That makes no sense at all. And a lot of the softwares, as much as I like them, are going to this monthly fee thing. They're charging monthly fees. Really a subscription just to write? No, thank you. And this is where Writer Solo comes in. It's 100% free. It auto formats your scripts. And best of all, you don't lose features behind a paywall. But it's actually good enough. So let's take a look and find out more. So let's take a look at Writer Solo. As you can see from my desktop right now, I have it uh, as a browser uh, window and I can type in that. You can also, the neat thing, I can actually download it and I have downloaded it to my Mac as well too. So you can do it offline or online, however you like to do it. As you look here at the different functions that you have, you have cards. The, the one thing I noticed too is you can do mind maps on this as well too, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, but it's got all your basic functions on here. Uh, as we take a look at just the menu right here, uh, it's pretty standard stuff. The neat thing about this is you can, there's a lot of different ways you can export it. Uh, if we take a look at uh, all the different ways you can you can export this to Final Draft, you can do Fountain. It has a wide range in PDF, which are all the big ones to uh, export. And it's the same with importing as well too. You can import PDFs, you can import Final Drafts, and also uh, you can send stuff as a writer duet document as well too. So there's a lot of neat stuff that you can do to export as well as import. So it handles a lot of different document types, which is great. It has a card feature, uh, very much standard, like if you have are using something like Fade In or something along those lines, it's really nice and standard. You can use this to move around scenes. Uh, you can actually add comments to your document as well too. So if you're doing a revision or something along those lines, uh, it does have tools. And there are a couple things that are premium, uh, which are uh, line history, view revision history for active line, or dates and writers. But these are all features that you would normally get in Writer's Duet, and so this is why it's premium. But if you're not uh, you know, working with somebody uh, collaboratively, there's really no other thing that I can find that is a sort of a paywall. Everything you see here, you can use, but these particular features here are uh, for Writer's Duet. And again, you're doing Writer's Solo, so if you are uh, working with somebody else, I would pref you, it'd probably be better to use Writer's Duet. But look at all the other stuff that you can get uh, to use for your revision tools. Here's a nice cool thing as well too. You can um, check your grammar, uh, check formatting, word count, dialogue filter. It also enables goal tracking as well too. So this is a really nice program. And again, it's free and it's made by a company that knows how to do this. It's made by a company that has made the, it's used the product before. So it's not some fly by night uh, place. It's really well uh, crafted and a lot of people swear by Writer's Duet. And so you're just basically getting that writer's solo. So you're not being able to work with somebody else, but you're getting all the stuff that you get from sort of Writer's Duet um, without the partner piece with that uh, in a great free software. So right now I'd like to take a moment and just show you sort of the difference between these two uh, interfaces. So on your right is Final Draft and on your left is Writer Solo. Now the difference between the two is you can see Writer Solo looks a lot more uh, minimal than Final Draft does and that's because Final Draft does do a lot of different things. Uh, again you're paying between 150 to 250 on a bad day uh, for Final Draft. They've been keeping it around 200 but still uh, with that $200 though it does have a couple more features than what Writer Solo does. But again, Writer Solo is free, so take that with a grain of salt. So some of the things that Writer Solo can't do that uh, Final Draft can do. Uh, with Final Draft, you can you can uh, use the beat board, so you can create a beat, and so you have sort of your brainstorming session here. Um, you can also um, 
be able to collaborate with other people online. Uh, now you can do that with Writer's Solo, but you need to upgrade to the Writer's Duet uh, feature. So that's the premium as you're as working together. And to be honest with you, Writer's Duet came up with the collaboration far before Final Draft did. Um, now I haven't done a comparison between which collaboration tool is better, um, but like I said, I've been really uh, quite impressed with uh, Writer's Duet in terms of being able to collaborate with other people. I haven't really tried it on the Final Draft yet, but that was one separation between the two as well. Uh, the other thing about uh, Writer's Solo is it doesn't do, you have to go in and auto set its uh, auto save. You don't necessarily have to do that with Final Draft. So just so you are aware of that as well too. But as in terms of what Writer Solo can do, that Final Draft, that it can do just as well as Final Draft is format your screenplays uh, really well and real easily. Um, it's got the ability to import and export a wide range of files, a lot more than most of the other free softwares that are out there, to be honest with you. It's easy to use, like both of them are easy to use. This one does have cards, um, so you do have some pre-planning uh, on here, and you also have mind maps, which is another thing uh, that you can sort of say is 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 pre-work. That's not as good as the beat board that we have here on Final Draft, but it does give you some options on how to uh, pre-plan some of your screenplay. All right, so is Writer Solo the perfect screenwriting software? Well, it sort of depends on who you are. Now, if you're starting out, this is a no-brainer. You get a pro-level formatting for free without spending a dime. Let me say it again. It's pro-level formatting and it's free. Or maybe you're a writer who just needs a quick no-frills tool uh, just to dot down ideas and write on the go. Writer Solo, again, is perfect for that. But if you're deep in production, selling scripts or writing in a writer's room, you probably still want to go with something like Final Draft or Fade In. Why? Because Final Draft has collaboration features, it has revision tracking, and better production tools. And that said, if you're looking for an industry standard free, again, free tool, Writer Solo is probably one of the better options out there. So what do you think? Have you tried Writer Solo? Would you use it instead of Final Draft or maybe even Fade In? Drop a comment below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to test it right now, I'll also put a link in the description below so you can go check it out as well too and let me know what you think. Oh, and if you're curious about my about other free screenwriting tools, I'll link one of my other videos that talks about that here.